My name's Nicholas Gaddis. I'm in my third year of a dual degree Bachelor's of Arts, Medicine and Surgery. So I'm in my first year of medicine and I've already completed two years of the Bachelor of Arts. I'm Miriam Risk. I'm a fourth year student at the University of Queensland. I'm doing Bachelor of Pharmacy and one course honours. My name is Caitlin Haynes and I'm studying a Bachelor of Science majoring in Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Hi, my name's Trent. I'm studying a Bachelor of Economic Science here at UQ. Uh, my name is Hugh Jorgensen. I've just completed a bachelor's degree in economics and arts where I majored in political science and international relations and I'm just about to start in my honours program in political science next year. I decided to do this summer research program to gain more experience in research. I hadn't had much experience before that and it allowed me to spend six weeks at UQ's Centre for Clinical Research learning about all the different skills uh, that involve clinical research. The research project I was on was on language neuroscience, uh, so the major part of it was looking at using drugs to improve stroke victims' ability to learn new words. I decided to do the summer research because of interest in research, to gain more research skills and because of interest in the field. I was participating in research over the uh, first and second semester of my second year and I wanted to continue that research full time over the summer semester. Uh, over summer I intended on studying further mathematics and, and, and doing research in my own time at home so uh, the only thing that beats that I suppose is being able to come here to uni and, and get paid to do it and uh, work with uh, a mentor and I've, I've found myself a, a very accomplished professor who's going to look after me. I guess when you're doing your own undergraduate degrees and your own courses, a lot of the time you're doing research which has been done a thousand times before. But when you do the summer research program, there's a real opportunity to do something which has never been done before. Uh, so in my case, I got to do some um, great work on Australia and the global financial crisis, which at that point was very new. And uh, yeah, it was a fantastic experience to, to feel what it was like to be a real academic. <laughs> what we offer is summer research scholarships. Let me clarify, summer research has been happening at UQ for a long, long time. In other words, schools, faculties, institutes, centres organise summer research. And they get students to come on board to spend a period of time over summer researching on a project with their unit. Uh, students would spend between 6 to 10 to 14 weeks within that unit doing a piece of research. What the Office of Undergraduate does is uh, to provide summer research scholarships, okay, and let me clarify what that means. Uh, this scholarship is actually a stipend of 300 Australian dollars a week for students who are selected or who are successful. This stipend is shared between the Office of Undergraduate Education and the unit or school or faculty or institute or group that the student does the summer research with. So I was looking at the expression of olfactory and gustatory, so smell and taste receptors in heart cells in mice. I was really interested to sort of see what it would be like to be a researcher full time. So over the, um, over the year I'd only been in there for sort of a few hours each day during the week, but it was really good to go in there full time and kind of experience what it's actually like to be there all the time. So that was kind of my expectation to get more kind of practical experience and more knowledge about what it's going to be like in my future career and that was definitely, those expectations are definitely met. The topic of my research is look-alike, sound-alike medicines, reducing errors. It is a quality use of medicine project. My expectations were more than met. Uh, so first, uh, the report that was produced can now be published in a journal article. And secondly, uh, the poster that was produced has been published in three conferences, one of which is an international conference. And thirdly, this area of research is of interest in local committees in Australia because of it's the second research to be published in Australia in this area. We also find that having uh, from feedback from surveys that we have done this past one and a half years, two years, we find that supervisors have found having undergrad research in their groups very beneficial. Firstly, our undergrads are amazing. They do come up with very good research and much of the research has actually resulted in publications and other kinds of you know, positive outcomes, actually we've had positive outcomes. Secondly, having undergrads in a research laboratory just create <coughs> an ambience of, uh, of, of camaraderie. You know, it sort of 
uh, enhances the ambience of camaraderie. Uh, thirdly, it also allows um, doctoral and postdoc students the, the opportunity to supervise younger people, which is something they may have to do once they go out to work, or once they set up their own laboratories and so on. So it is win-win-win all the way, and we just hope that this experience will tell students what research is about and what wonderful research is being done at UQ, and that will help them to decide you know, on their careers in future, and hopefully they will re decide to do their postgrad and, and research higher degrees and move on. Yeah. It gave me a good taste of what research is and I learnt uh, lots of skills to do with research. Um, I've Then this year I've decided to do research in molecular pathology of breast cancer metastasis. So it's also in UQ Centre for Clinical Research and I hope to start a part-time uh, Master of Philosophy in that area next year. So I'm really interested in working with the government one day or a similar organisation and the research skills and the knowledge that you use and you apply uh, in the summer research scholarships is something that definitely applies to that area as well. So yeah, I would definitely say it's going to help me in, in my future career. I would definitely recommend it to anyone who's interested, particularly if one of the available topics is something that they're really interested in themselves. It's a great opportunity to learn about an area in greater depth than you would normally in your undergraduate career, so I would definitely recommend it to, to other students. After my summer research project uh, ended last year, I got a job doing some statistical consulting work part-time uh, throughout this whole year, which will carry on to next year, uh, which has been an enormous benefit to me, you know, financially and also uh, um, academically and in terms of experience. Uh, I also feel like going into the future I'm, I'm better placed to, to make a decision as to what, what, what I'd like to do in terms of further research and, uh, and hopefully academia and, uh, and, and working in a university someday. So that's what we have of summer research and I'm very pleased to mention that looking at the statistics around Australia I think um, you, the University of Queensland is the biggest provider of summer research scholarships and we are the most successful at this point. <laughs>